Hello, it's casting time again. This is my improved casting setup. Uh, maybe you remember the other one that wasn't. Uh, yeah, it was quite experimental and uh, some time ago. So uh, here I've welded a nice uh, table, a stiff and solid table. This is my, these are my sink supplies for the next two weeks or so. Um, it has a border, the table has a border, so if something happens, uh, the sink doesn't spill all over the floor, <laughs> just the chips. Uh, then I've added some, uh, hmm, how do you call that? Uh, Concrete that the gas gas concrete or whatever Uton it's a brand name and as always the pot then I have some tools to pick out the soup this is a small this is called ladle and a bigger one so most of all. I have a separate table where I can put the put the dice on and they are screwed on with some kind of system, just an angel iron on a steel plate so it doesn't move too much. This is in the other half of the I can the other half on and close the form with snapper so things are designed so I can work with them with uh, those nice warm gloves everything is handy just can be operated uh, with one hand more or less and uh, here for example if I have Separate the forms. I'm using this uh, automotive tool for if you have those wishbone joints to separate. This is such a tool. So I can just go in between here and lever it open. If I can't get it apart by hand. This is such a part that was cast in this form. Like this. There was a runner. This is for adjusting the uh, clutch cable. Uh, obviously not machined yet. This cylindrical part here is for clamping, will be cut off after I have cut the thread here. It's M7 and drilled that long hole through all the screw. Oh, nice part I think, a bit nasty. The drill, the sink, with such a length uh, and a, I think a 2.5 millimeter bore, something like this. But yeah, it works. Uh, it's isolated here in the back. This uh, car wool, so I can uh, keep uh, the temperature of the form, and uh, I can measure it with this uh, K element. See, this is, should be a bit warm right now. Come on. Here we go. 44 degrees Celsius. And I can also check uh, temperature uh, with uh, those here. This is not the Indian camouflage type. 
like 40 years anyhow they still work quite handy you don't need a thermometer and uh, you don't have the problem with uh, getting good contact so you don't have to drill a hole or something to uh, get the thermocouple in the part and get a uh, well a, a good contact good thermal contact Activity contact it just smear the stick. Uh, it's like crayon, and yeah, yeah. It's not just like crayon. It's called crayon, <laughs> and you get the, the temperature. It changes the color depending. So if you take this uh, 100 degree stick, and it the surface has 100 degrees. It changes the color from this gray to this uh, pale blue, or this one is much more easy to read, this dark blue to that uh, dark gray, and whatnot. I think this should be enough for the next, uh, oh well, couple of years. Machining will follow sooner or later. <laughs>